Welcome back to Vahography guys, I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. Today, I'm gonna go over five mistakes I've made using the Nikon Z6. Five mistakes I've made when I just bought the Z6. But first, if you're a beginner photographer and want to learn new tips and tricks on photography, or a seasoned professional, I welcome all you guys to subscribe to Vahography so you can get updated when I post new videos. So the Nikon Z6. I've owned this camera for about a year now. I really enjoy it. But in the beginning, I've made some mistakes. And in this video, I'm going to go over the five major mistakes I made when I started taking pictures with the Nikon Z6. Number one, and this was very crucial for me. When taking pictures with the EVF, Images look beautiful, digitized in the viewfinder. The pictures might look amazing to the eye the moment you take them, and you might be pleased at what you see. The mistake I was making was relying on that. You see, when I started processing the images on the computer, it wasn't the case sometimes. The images looked amazing in the EVF, but looking at it in a computer screen, not so much. I'm not saying everything, but some of the images I would have took again had I known that it wasn't that amazing. Number two, and this was crucial to me as well. You know we buy into mirrorless to lighten the weight and the size of the camera gear. But when going out and shooting, sometimes you hesitate to take lenses you might need. This is especially crucial going on trips, vacations, or, or going out and shooting landscape pictures. You know you don't want to take that much gear with you because it's heavy, this and that. But when you're on location, beautiful lakes, mountains, and scenery, but then you wish you would have brought that other lens that you were hesitant to take along because it was a little heavy or big or you didn't want to take that many lenses with you. But that whole image would have turned out a lot better had you had that specific type of lens. That's a mistake I made. I was at the location that I loved. The light was perfect. The weather was perfect. But I just didn't have that glass. I'm not suggesting you take your whole lens lineup where you use massive bags, backpacks. No. But sometimes you get lazy and you don't want to take that extra piece of glass that you might need. Mistake number three, not having enough batteries. The mirrorless system always stays on. When you're shooting, the sensor is always working. So it drains the battery faster than a traditional DSLR. I suggest buying multiple batteries. Very important. The batteries go fast, especially when you're doing video. Even photography, like I said, the sensor always stays on even though you're not shooting and it drains the battery faster than a traditional camera. And in the beginning of owning this camera, I only had two batteries and they would run out really quick. So always buy enough batteries. And an extra tip on batteries. Guys, you know the off-brand batteries are cheap. We're always tempted to pick those up. I recommend strongly picking up the Nikon batteries, guys. They last longer than the off-brand batteries. Get the Nikon original ones, trust me. When you're doing video, you'll be shooting video and all of a sudden, you have full charge and a couple of 10, 15 minutes later, it's dead. It's not shooting anymore. So always get the Nikon original batteries. Mistake number four that I made. You can open the screen when you're shooting down low. You can have it up like this or down like this. I had it in this position right here. And mind you, I've only had this camera for one month at the time. I was shooting and, and I was setting something up with the flash, the camera in my hand with the screen in this position, I banged this part of the screen on the flash stand and it broke off this piece right here. I hit it pretty bad and this part was damaged. So I had to send it in and get it repaired. The Nikon Z6 fits really well in the hand and it's built really good, but it's not as good as the DSLRs. I mean, my D4 is built like a tank. I dropped the D4, I banged it up left and right. If something like that happens to this, if this camera will survive, I don't want to take, put it to the test. The amount of technologies that's packed into this small body, I don't think this will fairly do well if this camera were to suddenly drop. It'll cause some damage for sure. And the final mistake I made, and probably this is the most important one, when you change lenses, the sensor is exposed to the elements. So you have to be very careful. Sometimes you're interacting with people at an event or a photo shoot. You're looking at your back to see what lens you want to put on and the talent or the model starts talking to you and and asking you questions about the next scene, the next pose, and sometimes you forget that the element is open. I was shooting in the desert with the model and I had left the sensor exposed to the elements for a good three or four minutes. There was some high wind and dust and I had some elements on my sensor. I had to clean right after 
I found out after the fact when I was reviewing the images on the computer. Luckily nothing happened to my camera. I was able to blow the dust off and I was good to go. So those are the major mistakes I made in the beginning owning a mirrorless camera, the Nikon Z6. Hopefully you guys are having fun taking pictures guys. I'm having a blast shooting the Nikon Z6. I love this camera. I will be making a full on review of the Nikon Z6. Thanks for watching. This is Vahagraphy, I'm Vahagin, your rock and roll photographer. See you next time.